I saw a post a few months back and you shared it's been, you've been been trying to get these Hollywood gigs <laughs> for quite some time and now you've actually got one. So let's chat about what's going on. Well, yeah, I was saying like, you know, I think every kid that wants to be an actor dreams of getting to work in Hollywood. So when I was, you know, going off to college, I begged my mom and dad to please not send me to university to just give me the university money and let me go to Hollywood. But of course, they wouldn't let me. So I got to go to Regina instead of Hollywood. <laughs> and uh, I still say to them, I think you should have let me go because I was a lot more brave at 18 than I am at 45, you know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I, I started this show in Vancouver at the beginning of the pandemic. So it started out being a show that was shot in Canada. And then um, they took season two down to Los Angeles. So I got to go down there for season two. So that was pretty exciting to say that, you know, my childhood dream came true in a little way. Got to go for a short little time and uh, have that experience and and it was lovely. It was beautiful. And my mom and dad were just two hours away. So um, it was kind of nice. I felt like a uh, you know, college kid who took their laundry home for the weekend to their parents' house. <laughs> what is the name of the show? It's exciting. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's uh, called the Mysterious Benedict Society. And it's on the Disney platform. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's a show that's geared for sort of like 12 to 15 year olds or maybe even a little bit younger eight to 15 year olds you know that kind of age range and uh so the cast is primarily made up of children and they're fantastic it was so much fun and uh yeah yeah it's just it's a really cute show and it got nominated for 11 emmys this year so they were pretty proud everyone we're all pretty proud of that and they won two so yeah hopefully it keeps going it's based on books so they've done two seasons hopefully there's more to come well yeah and you know it's exciting not only that it's had all these emmy nominations but you know what for people who don't know to be to be, have a recurring role is a huge compliment coming from that production team so you worked in season one and you did did one episode in season i one? did uh or five episodes in season one and I just did two in season two yeah like that is huge congratulations because that means they were really pleased with your work right Aww, well, thank yeah. You, Bernie. yeah yeah and the the producer of one of the producers of the show um is somebody who worked with me on defiance actually a couple of them worked with me on defiance so um I was thrilled to, you know, be asked to come on to this show with them because I'm very fond of them and uh, they always write such great things, like great characters. Um, so that was, I think, that was the connection for me getting on to scene for this show, which was nice because sometimes you feel like you do a show and then so much time passes, as you know, in between gigs and you think that the world has forgotten about you um and so it was nice that you know even though it was years later you're like oh somebody remembers me <laughs> <laughs> well so did they just call you up then and said hey we got this role for you uh yeah Todd Slavkin he reached out he said you know we're we're shooting this series in Vancouver and um we've looked in Vancouver we haven't found who we're looking for so would you you know be interested in putting yourself on tape for it like of course <laughs> so that's how that happened wow that's really amazing didn't even have to audition they reached out to you that's fantastic trying so excited for you and now well, I still do you have to audition but yes they reached out first <laughs> yeah 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 well you know you got to go through the red tape right that's you gotta right. yeah yeah <laughs> Um, so what about now in the future? Is there anything new on the horizon that you have to look forward to? Or are you like in that space where you're not right now where you're just like, no, no, a wait little for the bit, next. A little bit of both. Um, I have a, a series um, on Netflix that is supposed to be coming out in January. It's been like, it's been a long time. Like I shot it like a year ago. 
Um, so it's a Netflix series called Painkiller. Um, and it's a, it's a limited series and it's, um, true story based on like the Purdue pharmaceutical scandal and the opioid crisis in the U S. So, um, I have that to look forward to coming out, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and uh, of course, hoping that uh, I'll get asked back for another season of Benedict, but who knows? Um, and other than that, it's, yes, it's what you said. It's in the, the waiting game period, just uh, trying to see what lands next. Wow, Netflix too. That's really exciting. So you think you're hoping that it's yeah, being released in June or January. I know as an actor, it's hard to know, right? Because this is the production end of things and we're not, or you're not privy of all that information. Right. But, the um, internet says that it's supposed to be coming out in January. So, okay. um, and uh, I did ask a couple of, I reached out to a couple of people they worked with on the show and I was like, what, what is it coming out? And they said, yeah, they're saying January. So again, like who knows, but um, I am looking forward to it because I think it's going to be um, really good. <laughs> yeah, that does sound wonderful. Now, and how many episodes are you on in that series? I'm trying to remember. I mean, a, a few. Two or three, I believe. It's I, it, Like I said, I shot it a year ago. I think it's six episodes. And I think I'm in, you know, two or three of them. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> Wonderful. That's so good, though. Wow. That's so exciting. Yeah, it was well, it was a fun one. Too. It was a really like amazing group of people to work with some actually both the shows that I've been, you know, working on that I'm Benedict on this one. I have to say they've been some of the most uh, fun that I've had in a long time. And maybe that's just because I'm getting older and I like I don't put so much pressure on myself. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. That's that's the benefits <laughs> with age, right? It's <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one on Netflix, like that is not easy to get on a show in Netflix. So congratulations. That's a huge streaming platform that, yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, anything else that you'd like to add, Trina? Not so much. I'm just keeping busy. I'm painting, you know, that's my new, my new hobby. The the pandemic really uh, changed the way we do things as actors. I don't have to run around anymore um, to auditions. Um, so, so now I have a lot of, a lot more free time to do other things that I enjoy, that I didn't even know I enjoyed because life was so much about running before do you do mostly video auditions then no entirely uh i i have gone in to the room for a couple commercial auditions in the past you know whatever three years um but film and tv i've not ever gone in since the pandemic started so yeah it's all done entirely via self tapes or zoom now which has its pros and its cons, you know. Um, I like that it's so much less, there's no nerves attached when you're doing it at home. Um, so that's really nice. But I do, I think mostly I miss the community of, of actors, of seeing actors and uh, really feeling, you know, a part of things in that way. Um, and, and also, I mean, there are certain things that being in the room are really good for, you know, you can, if you're way off base with your take on the character, you can be told that. Um, so I think it's especially um, for young actors, people just starting out, it's going to be a lot more difficult for them to know what's going wrong if they're only ever doing self tapes, because it's the young people that really benefit from being in the room you know, and getting that, that feedback from casting directors. So, yeah, I don't think it'll ever go back to that, but in some ways I, I wish it would. <laughs>